you're probably wasting your time in AutoCAD. Hello friend, today I'll help you save time using automatic block numbering in AutoCAD. I'll also tell you, being from Peru, how many wives I have. So, let's test your new AutoCAD automatic block numbering. So, click on it. One, two, and three. Awesome! Have you ever had to manually number blocks in AutoCAD? Yes. Me too. So this is why I created the AutoCAD block numbering tool or command. This will work with literally any block. But for this example, I'll use the column grid bubble, which if you are an architect or an architectural student, you'll need it. So let's go to create it. The first thing, let's draw a circle and let's change the diameter to 2 feet. Next, I'm gonna draw a line from this point. It can be in any, in any direction, it's, it's all up to you. So, but for me, I usually placed my column grids this way. So, now let's select all of it and use the block command. And I'm gonna call this block column grid bubble. But again, this will work with any AutoCAD block. So this is just an example, but it's gonna be the same procedure. Now I'm gonna select the base point for this block. And I want it to be a little away from the actual block. Now let's double click on it. And let's really quick add a attribute definition. Here I'm gonna quickly choose one for all of these attribute properties because this is not about creating a block, this is about having the AutoCAD block numbering. So I'm gonna click over here and place my number. Now let's use the big close command to get out of this uh, block editor mode. Now you can see that nothing happens but let's use now the ATT sync and select your block. Now you can see that your number is showing in your AutoCAD block. So next we're gonna use the QSAVE command to save our block. You can see that this is a normal AutoCAD attribute block. And next click and hold it and drag it to your AutoCAD tool palette. Now you can release it over here. If you don't know how to access or open your tool palette in AutoCAD, let me close it and reopen it using Control 3. So now that you have your block in AutoCAD, in your AutoCAD tool palette, uh, if you right click on it and choose properties, you'll see that you don't have that much flexibility to customize in these properties. So the trick here is let's gonna draw a rectangle really quick and again let's click on it and drag it all the way to our tool palette. Now here we can right click on it and specify a image. Since we already dragged our column grid bubble to the tool palette, an image will be saved automatically. So pick that image 
and click OK. So we no longer need this other column grid bubble, so you can delete it. And now let's right click on this one and choose properties. Now you have more freedom to customize this AutoCAD block numbering, so click from yes to no and here let's start by arranging this uh, window dialog box a little bit so you can see better and one of the first things that we're gonna do here is pick a layer that you want this uh, AutoCAD block numbering to be in so in my case I'm gonna choose the X column bubble layer and now here in the command string or macro the first thing that we're gonna add is an asterisk this means that this is gonna repeat every time because you don't want to insert this block only once so next we're gonna keep the underscore so the first commands that we're going to use are to force the attribute definition to ask for an input and for this we're going to use the att rec or require and set it up to 1. we we'll also use the att dia and set that to 0. So these two commands are only for the attribute definition. Next we're going to change the settings using the osmode system variable and we're going to set it to 703 because this will activate the osnap settings for this automatic block numbering next we're going to use the insert command to insert your block in this case mm -hmm. the in this case the column grid bubble mm -hmm. so put that name mm -hmm. Next, we're going to add this slash that represent a pulse for you to click and place your block, following by these semicolons that it is just an enter. Next, we're going to use a diesel expression using this dollar symbol and the letters and the following letters. Now, we're going to use this together with a variable call get bar to get a variable from the usury one inside AutoCAD. Usury one will be the variable that is going to store a, the information that we need regarding the numbering. So just follow along with these symbols to complete the diesel macro we're gonna use the plus symbol and to add one to each previous number and we're gonna finalize this by adding a semicolon again that represents an enter so click OK now and your AutoCAD numbered block attribute is ready the last thing I want to mention here is you can use the variable user1 to choose the number you want to start from so if I type user1 and set it to 1, your AutoCAD number block attribute will start from number 1. Yes, you guessed it right. I have one wife only. She is from Peru too and cooks delicious. And this is how you save time in AutoCAD. Remember that you can save somebody's time too by sharing this video. I'll see you here next week.